Hi, I'm George from Greenfellas, and I'm here today to do a little bit of troubleshooting on getting your Wi-Fi Bird Box camera working. One of the issues that some people may face with their Wi-Fi Bird Box camera is the range of the network. Now, how far your camera can be away from your router is determined by the power of your router. It's not the camera itself that transmits over that distance, it's that Wi-Fi network coming off of your router at home. Now, what we can do is we can give ourselves the best chance possible to get the video back. So the first thing that we want to do always is we want to make sure that the little aerial on the camera is vertical inside the box. As you can see, it moves quite freely and what we want to do is when it's mounted up, we just want it set so it's nice and straight up. That can help with picking up signals and help a little bit with range. If we're still struggling with Wi-Fi range, what we can do is we can take a look at the network itself and going back to the router. We can extend the range with a Wi-Fi range extender. What this does is a little plug with aerials on it and it grabs a hold of your Wi-Fi network and it just sends it that little bit further. These are available on our website and can help with that. If you haven't purchased a camera yet, a good way to test it about where to pop your Bird Box camera is to take an iPad or a smartphone or a tablet PC that's connected to that Wi-Fi network and go outside to the garden and see if you can watch a video out there where you'd like to put your camera and bird box. If you can watch a video, you can have a Green Feathers camera sending video back in across that network. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about today is routers and frequency types. There's two types of frequencies that we're allowed to transmit at, and that's 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. The camera itself is a two gigahertz camera. And what happens is sometimes is our routers from modern providers, they pair them together. So you don't actually see two networks, you just see one. Issue being is that the camera can't connect to a double or paired up network. What we have to do is separate those out for the camera to connect properly. To get this, you can check with your provider of the router for information on how to separate that out. Whether you go to their website or you'll call their technical support line, they should be able to help you to put your router into 2.4 gigahertz mode, meaning it will work with our camera. This can be for other modern devices as well that they struggle with this. The next thing that I'm gonna to touch on is when you're setting up the camera in the app and you're searching the network, as it's going round and round on the app, if it doesn't find the camera, we might want to reset it. You can do this by taking the cap off of the little white button and pressing and holding for 20 to 30 seconds. You should hear a little click from the camera and that lets you know it's reset. Have another go to after this. If it then doesn't work, go and refer to our help site where there's lots of guides on helping you from this point. And that's green-feathers.co.uk forward slash help. Sometimes your camera might be connected fine to the app and has been working fine for a little bit but all of a sudden, your camera starts buffering and trying to load and struggling to get that video feed nice and smooth. And you get a little bit of an image, then it buffers again, a little bit more and buffers. If this is an issue, what you can do is you can drop the camera from the mainstream down to the substream. This lowers the image quality, so you're sending less data and allows the camera some time to catch back up again. And once it's nice and smooth, you can then move it back up to the high definition mode. If you're still struggling, what this means is, is that possibly the stability of your connection to your Wi-Fi network has dropped. And the best thing to do at this point, again, is to reset the camera and reconnect to the network, making a nice strong new connection onto your router. If you're still struggling, go to our website, which is green-feathers.co.uk forward slash help. Thank you so much for watching today and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.